So God has a book. And those who are saved are written in the book of life. And when he's speaking to the church, I think it might be Sardis, but he says that your name will not be blotted out of the book of life. What he's talking about is he's talking about overcoming at the end of the age when things get tense. If you read Matthew 24, uh, and real quickly, I'll just flip over here. Matthew 24, here's what Jesus said. In verse number 10, he said, and then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. We can talk about timing all day long, but look at verse 22. He says, but for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Um, I, I don't believe you can lose your salvation. You're not gonna lose it like you lose your car keys. But I do believe it's possible for an individual to become deceived over a course of time to the point where they ultimately reject Christ. Uh, it's called apostasy, when you can apostatize away from the faith. It doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen accidentally. But just like you believe in Jesus and confess Jesus, according to this, you can also fall away. You can betray your faith and your love can grow cold. And so this is why we're admonished to examine ourselves as to whether we're in the faith or not. Constantly, it's not, it's not living in a constant fear. Like I wonder if because I sinned, God took my, cert, my certificate of salvation away. Or as you said, my name's written in the Lamb Book of Life. Is it blotted out? No, but listen, Jesus is very specific. Many will fall away. Paul writes in Timothy, he says, the spirit explicitly says that in the last days, many will depart from the faith. Depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. So yes, you can depart from the faith just like you entered into the faith. You're not gonna lose it, but you can reject it. And that happens through deception. And this is why having an understanding of end times, this is why understanding what is taking place on the earth from a biblical lens and knowing where it's gonna go is vital. And this is why I teach on it. This is why I'm, I, I'm writing books on it right now because we're living in a pivotal era and I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody to fall away. I don't want anybody to become seduced by the spirit of this age because heaven and hell is at stake. If, you, if we're convinced that we're just gonna slide into heaven because we said a prayer when we were in fifth grade, or, or you know what, I'm gonna make it in heaven because my good outweighs my bad, then we ultimately reject what Jesus said and we've been seduced, we've been deceived. But Jesus said, take heed to yourself, stay awake, spiritually awake. And today, let me just ask you, let me just admonish you. If you're playing games with Jesus, now's the time to get serious. It's never, going to be, it's never going to be harder or it's never going to be easier to follow Jesus than it is today. It's only getting harder. Yeah. So set the course of your heart right now. If you've got issues in your life you're not confronting and dealing with and repenting of, now is the moment. Because we don't know the day or the hour when Jesus is coming. We don't know that day or the hour. But when he comes, it's too late. Prepare today.